Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Huck. Today I am doing a currently reading just to tell you what I've been up to with my reading recently. So we're going to talk about what I just read, what I'm currently reading, what I think I might read next. So let's get started. Um, so the thing that I most recently was reading is that I recently DNF'd A Conspiracy of Truths by Alexandra Rowland. This is an adult high fantasy that is about this man who is a chant which is kind of a traveling storyteller, story collector, um, and he has been accused of witchcraft in one of the countries he has just recently traveled to. So he is now being imprisoned and standing trial and then once they think he might be a witch, then they think he might be a spy, and then things kind of get out of control. And he gets involved in this kind of ridiculous legal system in this country. Um, but he is hoping that his ability to tell stories will help him survive. I was originally interested in reading this because it's supposed to be about storytelling and about like this power of stories and like that is definitely a theme that it is about kind of how everything is a story but then there's a difference between like the theme and the plot and while I like the concept of the theme I did not enjoy the plot of this and I was super super bored um, so I decided to DNF this but this was the most recent thing that I was reading. Then I have two books that I'm currently reading. The first one is Green Rider by Kristen Britton and this I'm so glad that I'm finally reading it because I've been meaning to read this for so long and I feel like I kept putting it on TBRs and then not reading it. This was on my fall TBR so I was like I find I need to actually read this in November for that TBR because I haven't been very good about keeping up with it this this season. Um, but this is another adult high fantasy um, and in this we're following a main girl main character who is a young girl named Kerrigan who uh, is traveling home from school when she encounters a messenger who is dying and he entrusts her with his message that is meant to go to the king and tells her that there's someone chasing down this message that she has to hide from um, but she needs to deliver it to the king and so she gets swept up into this mission that she really doesn't know what is going on but she knows that she has to deliver this message to the king and she has a horse companion who's helping her along the way um, and I have really been enjoying this. Um, I started reading it physically and I just wasn't really captured by it while I was reading it physically uh, but I was intrigued enough that I wanted to try it as an audiobook and I'm liking it a lot more as an audiobook. It's a little bit of a lighter feeling fantasy, it's not like a really heavy one um, but I'm really enjoying that. Then the other book that I'm currently reading is Blood Magic by Tessa Grattan. This is the first book in a duology that I think is called The Blood Journals, I think. Um, but it is a YA contemporary fantasy. I think this was Tessa Grattan's debut novel um, and I, am, I wanted to read more of Tessa Grattan's books. I'm trying to read all of her books because I really enjoy her. I'm not very far into this yet so I don't really know that much about what it's about but in it so far we have a girl whose parents have recently died um, and the police believe I think that her father killed her mother but she doesn't believe that that's what actually happened she has since received a mysterious book from someone that she doesn't know but who claims that this book belonged to her father and it has all of these like spells in it that use blood magic and she thinks that this book of blood magic has something to do with what happened to her parents and how they ended up dying. Um, and that's all I really know so far about it. But I am enjoying it. I started it and I'm only about 25 pages in. I'm not sure if this is actually what I'm in the mood for. Like I was super in the mood for it when I first picked it up and then I read the first like 25 pages and now I'm not so sure so I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with this right now or if I'm going to hold off on it. Not that this would be a DNF because I definitely do want to finish it but I'm not sure if I want to finish it right now. Then for what I think I'm going to read next, I have two options for my next physical read. The first one is Silent Hall by N.S. Dilkart. This was on my fall TBR so there is that to kind of like 
give me a little extra motivation to read this one next. Um, this is an adult high fantasy that has a lot of like fantasy stuff. It has like gods, it has wizards I think, it has fairies, it has magical creatures in it. I don't know if it has dragons but it just has like a lot of fantasy stuff in it. Um, and I've been wanting to read this one for a really long time so I do want to get to this one soon and give it a try. So this might be next. Uh, but I also have really been in the mood to read Fool's Fate by Robin Hobbs recently, which is another one that I really want to read soon. I want to read this before the end of the year. And you know, it's pretty chunky. It's like 800 pages. So I don't want to leave it too close to the end because I don't want to have to like speed through it. I want to make sure I have time. So I do want to start this one soon. I'm not sure which one I'm going to start next though. But these are the two that I am looking at for my next my next physical read. And then for my next audiobook, I think I might listen to The Black Tides of Heaven by J.Y. Yang, which is another adult fantasy. It's a novella, so it'll be a pretty quick read. I don't actually remember what it's about. It's one of those books that has just kind of been on my radar for a while and I've been meaning to read and then I saw that it was available on Libby, so I just got the audiobook, but at this point I don't really remember exactly why I was initially interested in it. Um, but I I think that one might be my next read. There are a couple of other audiobooks though that I have so I'm not sure but I think that's gonna be the next one because I just got that. So that is all for what I am currently reading. Thank you all for watching and until next time, bye!